Hello, I'm Keith Ford here at Brownells, and today I'm with the man from Sons of Liberty Gunworks, Mike Mowski. What's happening, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Now, one of the things that just pretty much got y'all going was the Sons of Liberty Gunworks Bolt Carrier Group. I mean, just what? I mean, what makes that thing so great? Well, I mean, what makes the thing so great really is a return to fundamentals. It really is. Instead of focusing on a lot of the uh, whiz bang stuff that's uh, you know that's new for the sake of being new, uh, you look at really why guns work and fail. You know what 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 they really are, and it comes down to materials. It comes down to testing. Um, you know the 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 actual technique for assembly. Uh, going in there and preemptively enhancing stuff that we know is going to fail. You know, an extractor spring is is a wear item. We know that part on even the best made rifle in the world at some point will fail, right? So if you go in there and you focus on some of that stuff and you preemptively, uh, you know, beef that up, you can start pushing these guns a lot further than they were, you know, than you probably thought possible. So if you were to boil the basic uh, the cycle of operation down to two steps, okay? And that's make a hole and fill it. That's kind of how this gun eats, right? You make a hole and then the next piece, the next you know, round is going in the chamber, make a hole and fill it. Well, you use, you know, powerful expr extractor springs, strong extractor material, okay? And then, you know, efficiency in that key where it creates that seal with that, uh, that gas tube, a really aggressive staking, adhering to like the torque value on these uh, on these fasteners, which you know these are you know torque to yield fasteners that grade eight, um, the appropriate material and mm -hmm. bolt. I know that there's a lot of uh, replacement steels out there being used for the bolt material, but I'd have to have a really compelling reason to go away from a formula that we know works. If you look at the actual TDP, if you look at military rifles, right, and you have sample sizes of millions, round counts of billions, and every austere condition you can imagine, you really don't see a lot of premature failure in military rifles and military bolts. No, you don't see you it don't. because it's built to an extremely specific standard. And we've gone away from that. The industry's gone away from a lot of the, you know, little uh, kind of uninteresting um, aspects to, to weapon construction. Uh, you know, talking about bolt material isn't nearly as uh, exciting as talking about, like, you know, uh, uh, Cerakote jobs yeah. on guns or something, <laughs> it's right? It's not flashy and right. stuff. But, but. but that 158 carpenter steel is the appropriate material uh in that bolt it's not you know there's some of the other replacement materials out there are argued to be harder which might be true uh but sometimes hardness can equal brittleness absolutely especially if it's not you know perfectly heat treated and again i, I look at the largest collection of collective data that we have on this gun that is military rifles you really don't see premature bolt failure out here in the civilian world where there's not a very specific standard you do see a lot of premature uh, bolt failure and I you know again if you look at the BCG as like the heart of the it rifle is. this is not really where I want to get creative and get cute you know we want to look at the stuff that works enhance what we can that you know we can objectively quantify what we've done and and that's it, it that and it is it is an extremely well-made bolt carrier group we almost built a brand around it absolutely i mean that is that's what makes the gun go that's, absolutely. without that you're sol <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and again you know another thing that i guess you know like that phosphate finish believe it or not uh, i know there's a lot of other interesting stuff out there but that phosphate finish has withstood the test of time i've seen a lot of coatings pop up and you know kind of go away um and the truth is, is that no coating will make a bad bolt carrier group good, no. right? And, and in fact, some of these coatings actually could, I think, have a detrimental effect to the substrate material itself. So, uh, again, there's a reason why you'll see a lot of your serious, like, fighting gun companies will stick to phosphate. And mm -hmm. it's certainly not because, you know, your Knights Armament customers can't afford uh, you know, uh, you know, some other finish. Um, and again, another thing too, that's really important. And it's, it's, I don't know why it's controversial. It shouldn't be, but it is individual high pressure testing on the bolt. So if you look at the, the, the TDP or you look at the way these rifles are supposed to be made, a magnetic particle inspection without high pressure proof load testing is invalid. Mm -hmm. you, know, you want to stress it before you magnetic particle and test it to look for stuff in the, uh, the, 
you know, the percentage of these bolts that will fail on, fail on HP tests is about 3%. So I do believe that that individual HP testing, while some argue it may be destructive, I believe it's it's pretty necessary. You yeah, know? Absolutely. And, uh, and in, all in all, man, these bolts work. We yeah. do not see them. Uh, you know, our, our warranty is probably the best in the industry, and we just never... We never see these come in for problems unless someone has, you know, damaged, uh, you know, a carrier key or something like that. Yeah. They just work. Yeah, I mean, I've seen so many different bolt carriers and bolts over the years and stuff. And you'd see them mushroom back here at the lugs because of, the, I mean, improper material, improper hardening, and stuff like that. But right. I've never, as long as I've seen SOLGW, never seen one with an issue of it because it's done right. Yeah, and again, this was kind of like the cornerstone of how we built a, a brand. And so we, we take it real, real yeah. seriously. You know, I mean, our you reputation's riding on every bolt carrier group out there. You yeah, because something you want to bet your life on, you don't want it to fail. Especially something that that is involved in every step of the cycle of operation. Yeah, you know, that's it. So. Cool, man. Buddy, thanks. <laughs> Dude, thanks again for yes, having sir. me, man. Folks, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure and check out Sons of Liberty Gunworks online for all their cool AR stuff. And questions or comments here, be sure and drop us a line or call us on the tech line. Thanks for watching.